Today, I want to talk about a very simple idea. And that idea is trade the trend. Don't fight the trend. Be one with the trend. Talking about it in this video. So stay tuned. What's going on, my fellow day traders, my fellow money makers, chasers, and well, whatever you want to call yourselves, your FOMO gang, the FOMO gang. That's a good name for us. Today, I just want to talk about a very simple idea. I think, you know, a lot of times these videos actually help me because when I talk about it, when I talk an idea through, it's not only benefiting you, you're actually helping me. So I'm sitting here, I'm talking about this very simple idea. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, now it all makes sense. Read the trend. Don't try to fight the trend. Don't try to be early to the party. Don't try to be the first one to short. I'm using DRNA not because I made money on DRNA, but because it's just a really easy to read chart. It's a beautiful chart for trading. Now, what's interesting here is, all right, so if I'm only looking at the one minute chart, I'm looking at the one minute chart, what am I seeing? All right, so I see that it stops at 1460. Well, why did it stop at 1460? I wonder. Let's look at the previous resistance. Look at that. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? Guess where that previous resistance was? 1450s, $15 area. Wow. It's like rocket science. It's really like rocket science sometimes. I mean, that's just too, too easy. Look at the five minute chart, it might be a little bit easier to see the trend, but you can see up to that resistance area. Look what we got there. We got the doji, the doji, baby, the doji hitting there on the five minute chart. That's a pretty clear example that the trend is changing. Oh, you know, the problem here is, all right, let's say I'm trying to short it right here. The $12 area, it's getting stuck at $12. I'm like, ha, I'm shorting this baby. And that's what's happened. That's what happened on DRNA. That's why this went up like it did. You had all these shorts that were piling in there thinking $12 was the top. The trend was going to change. Guess what happened? Shorts got squeezed. It jumped up there to the 1460 year. You can see how overextended it got. Boom, boom, boom. It's running up there, 1460. And then it finds resistance. All right, so now, now I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I want to short. You know, maybe I'm going to short into that 1460 area. That's, you know, I can do that. I can short 1460 area knowing that resistance is there. But... I'm not sure if the trend has changed just yet. Now, you can do this all types of different ways. You can draw lines on here. You, I drew a circle and the Fibonacci and all this stuff. But really, it's simple. Look at the trend here. What's happening? We got this big move up there to the 1460s. We got that pullback from that resistance. All right, so now we're thinking, uh-oh. Is this going to bounce off the trend line there? Is this going to go higher from there? It did not, which was good for me. But in general, you can see how the trend changed. Making higher lows, making higher lows, boom, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden, we start to pull back, starts to reverse. The trend is now changing. It's a different type of trend. Sometimes you see people with like a thousand lines on their charts and they're just like, look at all these lines. All these lines told me all the secrets. It, you know, if it was that easy, if just drawing lines on charts were the answer to everything, and I could just draw lines on all my charts to make money, everybody would be making money, but it's not that easy. Obviously, you can draw lines all you want. You can see it had that big ramp up. It got really overextended. It got crazy. The volume is picking up. Shorts are getting squeezed. Shorts are getting squeezed. What do we get? Up there, the resistance, it starts pulling back. All right. Now, get this big drop from 1460 down here to the $14 area. Breaks that. It gets down here to the $14 area. You have the $14 support. It's a pretty good you know, area because you got that whole dollar. And now, you know, the high on this candle is 1430. The high on this candle is 1427. So now we got a lower high. Before, we were making higher highs, getting up there, and just moving, moving, moving. So something is definitely changing here, but I'm not sure if I want to short it just yet. All right? I'm not sure. But now, okay, now we got this kind of 1360 low. We got this 1360 area. Boom, boom, boom. We're having some trouble there. All right. So now, this, breaks, this really starts to break down. We're getting below the EMAs. You can see we're kind of holding the EMAs, holding the EMAs. The trend is changing, my friends. The trend has changed. It's, now this stock is trending lower. So if I'm looking at this, what am I thinking? All right, we had this previous support there at 1360s. I'm thinking if that 1360 area turns into a resistance area, this is a good sign. This is a good opportunity for me to short. And there's just so many lines to start. And I got to get rid of some of these lines so you can see what's going on here. I want you guys 
to really see how the trend is changing. Obviously, you know, shorting here at 1460, that would have been the best possible entry. It would have been amazing. I would have been, boom, amazing entry. I would have been the king of the world. But the chance of me actually hitting the top is going to be difficult. My, you know, really for me, I probably would have shorted down here and I would have got squeezed and I lost money. But what I need to be doing is really waiting for the trend to tell me, hey, the party's over. The trend is changing. What's going on with the volume? The volume is dying off. Volume's dying off. So as this is pulling back, it's pulling back. It's losing the volume. You get these couple spikes here. It's not going higher. Volume tries to pick up. It's not happening. The bulls aren't stepping in. And I'm going to short. I'm going to look for an opportunity to short here. 1371 doesn't go higher. This previous area, this 1380, $14 area was that previous resistance. And there we go. It's game on. This went all the way down there. What did it get down to? 1180, 80 area? Wow. But really, overall, just look how clear this trend is. Look how clear this was to see. Obviously, it's not always going to be this clear. Not, it's not always going to be this easy. It's not always going to set up perfectly like this. But it's a good example of why it's important to wait for the trend to tell you which way a stock's going to go. A lot of times, I find myself trying to guess, you know, right at the point where it's either going to go up or it's going to go down, and I try to do one or the other. And I'm like, I'm going to short. I'm going to short it there because it's a good opportunity. I think it's going lower, and then it goes higher. This stock, when I shorted it, I felt pretty good about it going lower. I, I did for a couple of different reasons because it's going, it's already going lower. So I'm thinking to myself, worst come to worst, maybe we get back to the $14 area, maybe. But overall, it's trending lower. So I'm thinking to myself, if we break below this view app here, we're going to get going. $13 break, boom, it's going to get crushed. And that's what happened. Look at this, all the way down there to 1250 on this move here. So just going lower, 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 lower. 13, all the way down there. So going lower, 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 all the way to 1250 little bit of a bounce there and then finally pulling back down here to this previous support area so we had this whole big move here it got really overextended well think about it when a stock goes straight up what happens it starts to come down it needs to find that support that's the wave look at this beautiful wave here get this big wave all the way to the top here and then just rolling off just the rest of the day just going lower so now it's closed i think it closed at 12 dollars. so drna beautiful trade today and I just want to stress, stress this very simple idea. Trade the trend. Don't fight the trend. Look for the trend. If you can't find the trend, it's probably not there. It's going to be hard to read. It's going to be hard to know what you should do. And that's really just kind of the moral of the story. And sometimes I feel like I'm just talking to myself because really I am just talking to myself because nobody's actually watching this video as I'm recording it. Hopefully this resonates with somebody. Hopefully somebody gets the picture. And you guys can save yourself the money, the heartache, the headache that I have sometimes when I'm trying to force a trade, when I'm trying to fight the trend. When I see a trend like this, I'm like, oh, DRNA, it's got to go down. It's got to go down, right? It's going straight up. Look at this, going straight up. I'm shorting here at 13 thinking it's going straight up. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, Patrick. Wait for the trend to show itself. If the trend's not there, don't trade it. If you can't identify the trend, you don't know what's going on, I do this all the time. I need to just focus on finding trends like this drna this is the type of trade that i should have just capitalized on this should be the type of trade that makes my month i just should have hammered this one to the ground i made 200 dollars on it whatever but this is the type of setup this is the type of stock that should have easily made my month and if you guys can identify this if you guys can have the patience if you guys can have the fortitude to wait for this type of setup you can also benefit and you don't need to be the first one to the party. I say this a lot. You don't need to be the first one to the party, but you don't want to be the last one to leave. So seeing that this stock went up that big, seeing that it came down, it's all right. Now it's making a lower high. It's having trouble. It's going lower. This area would have probably been the best area to short. 1420s would have been a beautiful entry. And then you really could have had a lot more wiggle room here with the VWAP down there. But overall, I was a little late to the party, but I was still able to jump in, take profit and get out before the party was over. The party went on a lot longer than I stayed, but I'm in, I'm out, I'm making money, and that's how it works. Identify the trend, capitalize, and then move on. So there it is, a little weekend knowledge, a little weekend discovery. Trade the trend. It's that simple.